Welcome to my channel at Carl Ventures, travel day to Tokyo from Los Angeles with overnight layover in Tahiti. The day is finally here. Embarking on our journey from LA to Tahiti and onward to Tokyo was an adventure in itself. Just in the nick of time, we made it. <laughs> we made it, we made it, we made it. We're definitely sweating like we... The day began with the bustling energy of Los Angeles International Airport, where we navigated our way through the terminals, excited for the exotic destinations awaiting us. As we made our way to Bradley International Terminal, the anticipation grew every step knowing that our Japan adventure is about to but begin. But before anything else, the two-mile walk to the gate began. Arriving at Bradley, we were greeted by the vastness of this space, bustling with travelers from around the world. The long walk to our gate felt like a journey in its own right, but we savored the anticipation of what lay ahead. Amidst the sea of faces and the hum of conversations, we couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement for the experiences that awaited us in Tahiti and Tokyo. Finally, we reached our gate. We boarded our Air Tahiti flight bound for Tokyo with a thrilling overnight layover in Tahiti awaiting us. Settling into our seats, we eagerly awaited takeoff, knowing that our adventure was about to truly begin. As the plane soared into the skies, we watched the sunset from our window, filled with anticipation for the adventures that awaited us in the land of the rising sun. As the plane descended towards Tahiti's Fa'a'a airport, the warm tropical night enveloped us like a soft humid blanket. It was 9.30 at night, yet the air was thick with humidity, almost tangible in its intensity. Stepping off the plane, though, we descended down the stairs onto the tarmac, greeted by the glow of the runway lights, casting a retro ambiance, reminiscent of a bygone era of travel. The walk from the airplane to the terminal was a journey in itself, a trek through the sultry night air that seemed to cling to us with every step. Despite the exhaustion from the journey, we couldn't help but savor every moment of the exotic atmosphere. Entering the terminal, we were greeted by a sensory explosion. Traditional singers filled the air with melodic tunes, while a Tahitian dancer gracefully swayed to the rhythm, their movements a mesmerizing celebration of island culture. The music seemed to permeate the very air around us, infusing us with the spirit of Tahiti. Outside the terminal, our driver awaited us, a friendly smile lighting up her face as she welcomed us to Tahiti. Climbing into the comfort of her air-conditioned vehicle, we embarked on a journey through the night, the darkness punctuated by the occasional glimpse of palm trees swaying in the breeze and distant lights twinkling on the horizon. As we drove through the streets of Papayete, the capital of Tahiti, we caught glimpses of the island's nocturnal beauty, the lush foliage bathed in moonlight, and the gentle lull of the ocean echoing in the distance. It was a fleeting but enchanting glimpse of this island paradise. So we checked in close to midnight. Our flight was pretty long from LA, and now we're ready to head on to Japan. And I'm wearing my Hello Kitty shirt to make it more fitting, I guess. But look at the view, we're now in Tahiti at the Intercontinental Hotel. Pretty basic, but hey, it served its purpose of allowing us to sleep comfortably. And um, can't wait to go to Japan, Ritz Carlton, here we come. Thank you. Okay, bye. So good morning, everyone. It's um, really early and we made it here yesterday. Look at that, look at the view. Okay, so it's 6.30 in the morning and we went outside and I was just breathing, right? Barely moved and look at my sweat. In Tahiti, you do not need moisturizers. Your pores will organically give out the moisture for you with the help of nature's finest 90% humidity. So, <laughs> it's insane. It's so hot and humid. <laughs>
It's so interesting that the grass has no mist. Oh! Wow, look at this. Ooh. Again, one of those things where you say hashtag bless. Hello, paparazzi, Carlo Ferrano. I'm your biggest fan. I'll follow you until you <laughs> love me. Papa, papa, paparazzi. <laughs> This is the lobby area of the Intercontinental in Tahiti and um, we're waiting for our ride to the airport on route to Tokyo, Japan. And as I speak, literally my sweat is dripping from my scalp. So, um, yeah. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Restaurants inside too? Uh, inside you just a snack. A snack? Okay. Uh-huh. It's here. Okay. Okay, we have time, right? So we found this French patisserie that served amazing panini breads as well as coffee around the terminal. And looking at the people, including Matthias over there, we were so drenched in sweat. <laughs> That's a Tahiti way. This time, look at this time. But I think it's worth it because look at this. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Because Tahiti yeah, is, of course, a French territory, so they're influenced by French pastry. <laughs> And we gotta take care of business and make sure all these forms are filled out before we board it. Talk about an immersive experience, literally. We were immersed in humidity. <laughs>
What are our impressions of Japan so far? Very clean. Just and quiet. Love. Quiet. What? <laughs> we don't see a lot. We don't hear a lot of noises so Check far. Check out the view. Arriving at Tokyo Narita Airport, amidst the hustle and bustle of one of the world's busiest airports, there was a surprising sense of calm. Despite the constant flow of passengers and activity, there was a remarkable reduction in noise, a testament to the efficiency and orderliness of Japanese culture. Leaving the airport, we embarked on a journey towards downtown Tokyo. As we drove through the countryside, verdant fields and rolling hills stretched out before us. A tranquil contrast to the urban chaos we had just left behind. The scenery was breathtaking, with glimpses of traditional Japanese architecture nestled among the lush landscape. As we approached the city, and this is just the, the skyline of Tokyo heaven. began to emerge so on the horizon. The surface, you know? A mesmerizing display of towering skyscrapers. and neon lights that seemed to stretch endlessly into the night sky. The contrast between the serene countryside and the vibrant energy of the city was striking. A reflection of Japan's unique blend of tradition and modernity. As we continued our journey towards downtown Tokyo, the anticipation of exploring this dynamic metropolis grew with each passing moment. And as we finally entered the heart of the city, surrounded by the towering buildings and bustling streets, we knew that our adventure in Tokyo had only just begun. Okay, you're here. <laughs> Are you guys excited? Yeah. <laughs> it smells delicious. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That smells so very elegant. Very elegant the tickets, yeah. Thank you. Indulge in luxury at the Ritz Carlton Tokyo's deluxe room. It is a sanctuary of elegance and sophistication with meticulously curated details. Plush bedding and panoramic skyline views. I'm sure our stay will be elevated to new heights of pure opulence. Unrivaled amenities and personalized service also ensure an unforgettable retreat in the heart of this dynamic city. So I love how the Ritz Carlton has these little surprises for you when you arrive in your room. And this time we got a little mochi box or mochi bag. And in it, it has a card that explains what these things are. Although it's in Japanese, we can pretty much figure out which one is which. And so number one is this mochi. Number two is this mochi. 
Number three is this mochi. Look at that. And number four is this mochi. Yep. Yeah. We're also so delighted to know that our Japan Rail Passes that we ordered from the U.S. arrived safely and delivered directly into our room, courtesy of the efficiency of Fritz Carlton and the Japanese system in general. So thumbs up. Ever since we began our journey, all that we could think of is experiencing an amazing, authentic Japanese dinner on our first night in Tokyo. And so we found ourselves navigating the labyrinth of alleys in search of our first authentic Japanese dinner. We stepped into a cozy izakaya, the air thick with the scent of sizzling yakitori and savory miso. We were greeted by the friendly hum of conversation and the clink of glasses. We attempted our first polite bow of thanks as we savored the delicate balance of sweet and salty flavors in our mouths. And surrounded by the vibrant energy of the city, we knew that this first dinner in Tokyo would be the start of an unforgettable culinary adventure. So we use, I use my Subica app for the first time tonight, and it worked, yay! So they got this one, thank you, YouTube blockers. Gotta see. Oh my gosh, it tastes like Yakult. <gasps> Good. Hashtag blend. And after almost two days of traveling, we can say that our first night in Tokyo delivered. Experience Japan's beauty and culture in our video series from Tokyo's neon streets to Kyoto's temples. Join our adventure. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell.